remember Ghostbusters? In the original, there is an actress, her name is Annie Potts, and there's a line in the movie where they get their first customer. And she slams down on this buzzer and says, we got one. This is how most organizations do diversity. They were applauding you and you walked off stage. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you wrote about me, being a Texan likely was not part of that story. I'm a complicated person that basically looks like your fun aunt. <laughs> and now I get to engage with the people coming in from the live stream. Hi, I'm the one that looks like a tropical fish that they may or may not have told you about. <laughs> When we start talking about the idea of restoring humanity, we forget that all of those people actually are human beings. Most importantly, we forget that we are also one of these human beings. We also need connection. This is Jessica Pettit, the author of Good Enough Now, doing the best you can with what you got some of the time, because it's better than nothing never. I believe that this is exactly where I'm supposed to be with exactly the message I'm supposed to have and that you are exactly where you need to be. Can we look at the land under our feet and recall enough history to realize that the very struggle we think we're the only one going through might actually comfort somebody else because their struggle really hurts. Our lives have taught us how to feel safe and prepared. That doesn't mean we're right. If you can notice when they are doing the best they can with what they got some of the times, you're gonna be able to practice the skill of actually noticing when you are doing the best you can with what you got some of the time. inside voice that you have some of you are like I don't know what she's talking about I don't have an inside voice did you say that out loud no <laughs> Yo, I have been sober for 18 years you are gonna make me break this you gotta work with the tools that you have right now even if that's quite bad news I am actually a terrible hot mess but I have relative control of myself most of the time I can't make anybody do anything. If we want to be really honest, I can't even make myself do something all the time. Example, P90X, you're familiar with this? Tony, with his abs and his big arms, says the most important thing to do is to hit play. Well, I got that. If I can't make myself do something all the time, how on earth or why on earth do I think I have some kind of magical power to make somebody else be different. Honor the people who are different than you in your leadership skills, your organizing skills, how you build and develop a community, how you build programming, in your personal relationships and your work relationships. Pay attention, take responsibility for the story you write. Leave room for edits. I believe we can do this. I believe it matters even if it's not gonna finish in my lifetime. Can we do the best we can with what we got some of the time? Thank you. Yeah.